PhD with Mike Holst in, uh, in the CECOM department, Center for Computational Math. And I work on differential geometry and, and finite element methods. I solve geometric problems and, I, and using various computational techniques because, because differential equations is a very difficult subject. It's, a lot of these a lot of these equations don't have the analytical solutions that they teach you with calculus classes and everything. And so it's very important to be able to uh, do computation or to do it computationally. It is well. It is mainly an application. I think of it as an application of basic computer science concepts, where you use the algorithms and the data structures to to see how you can best approach different physical problems or so when you use so when you actually model a physical problem using differential equation you you apply some techniques from computer science to figure out how to best compute that and analyze how fast your algorithms are I worked on I worked on trying to understand visualization or trying to trying to visualize some of these problems because a lot of times you have these differential equations that that relate to concepts and relate to a lot of physical concepts like heat heat transfer waves and other types of very visual geometric phenomena and and a lot of these, a lot of math, mathematical proofs of the solutions often involve these very abstract estimates, and, and which are important. They're, they're very important to, to prove that many of these things work. But the problem is none of these mathematical abstract proofs involve very, very much pictures. It's, it, it, Instead, it's just mostly proving a lot of inequalities. And so my own project was sort of to try to actually bring some of, some of these inequalities to life in, in some specific problems, such as solving equations on curvy surfaces, curvy surfaces such as donuts and spheres and, um, and cylinders and other types of things that are not um, that are not just your plain domains in, in 2D or 3D. Um, well, I, so a lot of the background of my research has been in the subject of real analysis. So it's understanding functions as their own, as their own entities and living in this, in this high dimensional space. So it's a, it's a concept of, uh, representing functions in spaces and using a lot of the geometric concepts one learns in calculus such as like dot products, norms, and lengths and things like that to, to measure error when you calculate the differential equations. So the function space aspect is one of the most important things and one of the most interesting parts of how I learned of what I learned.